What's up Tech King, Stefan here from TechRide. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the new Moto G 5G and the new Moto G Stylus 5G. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. In this video, we're gonna be talking about, obviously, like I said before, the new G Stylus 5G and the Moto G. It seems these have just been unveiled a couple days ago. So really excited about these devices. Do you wanna see these on the channel? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're not subscribed already, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. So getting into this article, shout out to GSM Arena. It says Motorola Moto G Stylus 5G. 5G and Moto G 5G's 2022 versions arrive with 50 megapixel cameras and 5,000 milliamp batteries. It says Motorola unveiled the Moto G Stylus 2022. This is the normal variant. This is not the 5G. In February, and the company has followed it up with a 5G version dubbed Moto G Stylus 5G 2022. It's so confused. Number number one, it's so confused. I don't even want to get into this right now because. I'll take way too long. Make it easier. Can you just like call them different names or something? Cause like, dang bro, like just make make the names easier, please. Which is the successor to the Moto G Stylus 5G launched last June. Additionally, Motorola has also announced the Moto G 5G 2022, following up on the Moto G 5G introduced in November 2020. These names are so confusing. It says Motorola Moto G Stylus 5G 2022. Let's talk about the Moto G Stylus 5G first. The smartphone is built around a 6.8 inch 120 Hertz full HD plus LCD and has the Snapdragon 695 under the hood with eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, which is expandable up to one terabyte via micro SD card. On the software side, you get Android 12 with my UX on top. For photography, you get a 50 megapixel primary camera with OIS on the rear, joined by eight megapixel ultra wide and two megapixel depth units. And there's a 16 megapixel unit on the front for selfies and video calls. As you guys can see, this is what the phone is going to look like. Uh, we talked about this device before but we haven't talked about the new Moto G I believe. As evident from the name the Moto G Stylus 5G comes built in with the stylus that lets you quickly jot down notes, write captions, draw sketches, and edit photos on the phone. The Moto G Stylus 5G 2022 also comes with the Moto Note app which makes it easier to write something quickly as it allows you to start writing without unlocking the phone. So that's a feature that I believe we've used before. They probably just made it a little bit better in this new variant but it says the rest of the highlights of the Moto G Stylus 5G include a side mount and fingerprint scanner like those, water repellent design, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So all you guys out there won the A53 and it didn't have a headphone jack and that was a deal breaker for you. Go and pick up this phone. This, this looks like a pretty decent phone, honestly. USB type C port, NFC, and the smartphone packs a 5,000 milliamp battery with turbo power 10 and quick charge 3.0 support. Uh, so this is looking really good so far, honestly. I'm thinking like this is probably going to be a win for Motorola. This is probably going to be the most sold phone yet from them. But it says the Moto G Stylus 5G is 9.3 millimeters thick, weighs 215 grams, and has two color options, steel blue and seafoam green. Uh, seafoam green is my favorite color, so when I get this phone... It's gonna be seafoam green, and it looks that color looks so sexy too. It's priced at $500, and will go on sale in the U.S. starting April 28th. It will also be available in Canada in the coming months. So we're definitely gonna get this phone on the channel. It releases in five days. I'm honestly kind of hyped about this device, uh, but it's priced accordingly. Honestly, I think it's a decent price tag. Um, I know that. OnePlus is releasing a phone with the same 695 processor, so it looks like these mid-rangers are getting the 695 for 2022. And I'm not complaining, I'm hoping that chipset is going to run decently, and we're definitely going to put it through the ringer on my channel, and uh, we're gonna see what happens. But uh, $50 above the Galaxy A53's price, as we know it released at 450, and this device is gonna release at 500. But with a base model that has eight gigabytes of RAM, Right there, as you guys see, let's see, 256 gigabytes of internal storage. This is looking pretty good. For a base model, that's that's pretty decent. I'm, I'm hyped for this. And it also says the Moto G 5G is powered by the Dimensity 700 and features a 6.5 inch HD plus 90 hertz LCD display. So this is going to be a little 
more towards the budget arena. It runs Android 12 based on my UX out of the box and comes in a single 6 gigabyte and 256 gig memory configuration. However, you have the option to expand the storage up to 512 gigabytes via micro SD card. So we do have that slot for expansion. The Moto G 5G sports a 13 megapixel selfie camera and features a triple camera system on the back, which is a combination of 50 megapixel primary, two megapixel macro, and a two megapixel depth unit. The Dimensity 700 powered smartphone has a water repellent design and it's fueled by a 5,000 milliamp battery with 10 watt charging support. That's not impressive at all. It also says the Moto it also says the Moto G 5G comes with a side-mounted fingerprint reader for biometric authentication, and you get a USB-C port at the bottom. There's also a 3.5mm headphone jack for those who prefer listening to music with wired earphones. The Motorola Moto G 5G will go on sale in the US for $400 starting May 19th and launch in Canada in the coming months. So, um, I'm not impressed at all with that phone. Uh, I don't even want to talk about that phone. We'll buy it and take a look at it, but I'm not really impressed with that device at all. Honestly, I would just go with the A52S or the A52 5G or even the A53 at that point uh, if I'm going to pay $50 more uh, and get much better specifications. So I don't think it's too bad. I think the specs are all right, but um, the Moto G 5G didn't didn't impress me. The G Stylus 5G, however... They did something good with that device, and I'm excited to check it out. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing. If you are not part of the tech gang already, also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.